This is a video on how to perform a double contrast barium enema. Indications for a barium enema based on ACR proteinous criteria include colon cancer screening, inflammatory bowel disease, evaluation for diverticular disease, incomplete colonoscopy, or questionable findings on other imaging modalities such as CT. Prior to the procedure, perform aid it. A, acknowledge the patient. I, introduce yourself. D, duration of the procedure, which is about 15 to 30 minutes. E, explain the procedure. T, thank the patient. Aid it. Step one, if available, slowly inject one milligram of glucagon while the patient is supine to prevent bowel spasm and pain. Step two, take a scout image. Step 3. Perform a rectal examination with the patient in the left lateral decubitus position. Ensure there is no mass, stricture, or stool. Also, evaluate the direction of the anal canal. Step 4. Put gel on the catheter tip. Step 5. With the patient in a left lateral decubitus position, insert the catheter tip so the balloon is completely within the rectum. Step 6. Inflate the balloon. Put a little traction on the tube to bring the balloon against the sphincter to prevent leakage. Step 7. With the patient in a left lateral decubitus position, begin thick barium administration. Have the barium flow towards gravity. Step 8. When the barium begins to flow, fluoroscopy to evaluate the position of the balloon. Step 9. Intermittently fluoroscopy. Once the barium gets to the distal transverse colon or splenic flexure, stop the barium. Step 10. Turn the patient prone. With intermittent fluoroscopy, introduce air until the barium reaches the proximal transverse colon, hepatic flexure. Step 11. Raise the table to the upright position and place the back of barium on the floor. Drain the barium from the rectum. Intermittently fluoroscopy. Once the barium is drained from the rectum, clamp the bag. Step 12. Lower the patient's table into the horizontal position. Step 13. Roll the patient into the supine position while pumping air and watching under fluoroscopy the progression of the barium column. Step 14. Depending on the anatomy of the cecum, the patient may need to be rolled into the left posterior oblique LPO position to ensure coating of the cecum. Step 15. Roll the patient into the prone position. Under fluoroscopy, add more air to ensure maximum distension of the colon. Step 16. Turn the patient into the right anterior oblique RAO position and image the rectosigmoid. Step 17. Turn the patient into the LPO position and image the rectosigmoid. The purpose of the image is to image the rectosigmoid in the same position, but to move the air fluid column to ensure complete circumferential evaluation of the rectosigmoid. Step 18. Also in the LPO position, image the hepatic flexure and ascending colon. Step 19. In the right posterior oblique RPO position, image the splenic flexure and descending colon.
Step 20. In the supine position, image the cecum. Depending on the anatomy of the cecum, the LPO position may better image the cecum. Step 21. With the patient supine, raise the table upright. Step 22. In the LPO position, image the hepatic flexure and ascending colon. Step 23. In the RPO position, image the splenic flexure and descending colon. Step 24. In the supine position, image the sigmoid colon. Step 25. Turn the patient into the prone position, unclamp and drain the barium from the rectum. Lower the table into the horizontal position. Step 26. Once the rectum is drained, reclamp the bag. Add more air into the rectum while watching under fluoroscopy. Step 27. Image the rectum in the prone position. Step 28. Image the rectum in the RAO position. Step 29. Image the rectum in the lateral position. Step 30. Deflate the balloon and remove the rectal tube. Tip 1. If coding is poor, roll the patient slowly from left lateral to prone to right lateral to supine, all while adding air and observing under fluoroscopy. Tip 2. If there is too much barium in the cecum, turn the patient prone and adjust the table to Trendelenburg. Roll the patient to left lateral to supine, then raise the table to the upright position. This is a step-by-step -step summary slide of how to perform a barium enema.